Hello YouTube. Uh, I know it's been a long time since my last update. Um, I said I was gonna like three three weeks or a month ago. I said I was gonna do another update on a Friday when I got more of the live rock, but I ended up not getting the live rock for about two weeks. So it took a long time to get all the rock into the tank. But it's all there now. I have 60 pounds of live rock, 60 gallon cube, and a pretty small sump. I don't even know how much fits in there. Not much. But um, there's still a lot of things I need to do to this tank. Um, water levels are pretty good. Nitrates are still a little high, but they're coming down slowly. I think they're at 40 parts per million now. There's a couple corals in the tank, but that's only because those are the corals that I wanted to keep from my 10 gallon. Um, and they're softies, and they're doing all right. Plus the 10 gallon, at the end, before I took it all apart, it was... Uh, it was looking pretty bad and they were all still alive so the water conditions in this tank are a lot better than what they were in the 10 gallon by the end of the life of the 10 gallon um, I still need an auto top off I'm gonna start using calc after I after I get a bunch of corals and stuff like that so I can keep my calcium and alkalinity up um, I just switched out my my reactors down here my GFO and carbon, I've got, you can't really see because it's really dark. I don't have a light down here because I don't have a fuge, so it really doesn't matter. Um, GFO and carbon were just switched. Uh, I'm actually washing the filter sock right now, so I don't have a sock on the tank right now, which is not a big deal. Um, I already, there's nothing really in the tank that, there's really no debris floating around. But uh, I, I throw it in the wash. I throw, I throw uh, two different socks at a time into the wash, and I just, with nothing in it, just water. And then I, f I wash them, and then I reverse them. I flip them inside out, and then I wash them one more time. Uh, the protein skimmer's working pretty well. It's getting a pretty nice skim mate. Um, I'm happy about that. I'm trying to get all that crap out of the water. Nobody wants any of that stuff. Uh, the bottom of my sump here is pretty dirty. I gotta go ahead and take everything out and siphon it all out at some point. So far in the tank, I've just got a small little pulsing Xenia here. He'll grow. Uh, uh, some Zoa here. I got a green leather. And then uh, I got some star polyp down here. All really small. Oh yeah, and there's a Recordia up here, and he actually broke off into another piece down here, so I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put that little tiny piece. I've got three snails, I don't know what they're, which ones they are, uh, just the basic crappy ones you have to flip if they fall. Um, I've got one gigantic snail back there, uh, you can see him yeah, he's like I called him a zebra snail or tiger snail or whatever something with stripes and that, it's just got us the two clownfish in there and they seem really happy they're doing their thing I've had um, the the bigger ones from the 10 gallon he was you know really hardy fish so we like we like her she's the female and then we, we got the other one just so that uh, the clownfish had a buddy and they're doing their thing, and they I think they've been in the tank for about three weeks, and they're happy, swimming around. So all I have left to get is the auto top off. Uh, that power head is the power head from the 10-gallon, so it's a really, really weak little power head, and I just have it pointed at the rocks, uh, get flow through the rocks. I'm going to get rid of that once I get another Corilla 750. It's going to go right up in the back there. Uh, for more water movement because there's not enough movement in the tank and I want I want a high flow tank so uh, I was talking on a thread uh, I think uh, the reef tank dot com and there was questions and concerns about the way that I have my live rock set up that water wouldn't be able to flow through it and it was just going to start causing me problems so in order to fix that what I did was I took the return and I pointed it down 
and it shoots it shoots right down here and it shoots straight down to the back of the tank so the water flow is shooting through the back of the tank and out through the rocks so that's my way of trying to make it so that there's a high flow rate going uh, behind the rocks and then of course when I get the other Corilla 750 there'll still be so much more water movement in the tank that it'll help move water through the rocks and, and get that, that good filtration. Um, but that's it. And then uh, I think um, what I get my uh, tax returns, we're going to go and we're going to upgrade the lighting system. The, this lighting system is going to go. This is only temporary. This is the same one that was on my 10 gallon. It's just four T5 bulbs. And then I have a uh, LED bar that I've got mounted on it uh, to try to give it a little bit more color but that's not enough for what we want in the tank so we're going to go out and we're going to buy a, an, uh, a Radeon from Ecotech or whatever Ecotech so we're going to get one of those I know they're pretty expensive that's why we're waiting for the tax return so it's not so bad I think they're like $650 so that's what I'm going for I'm going to go for the light the power head and the auto top off system and I'm going to dose calc when um, once I start putting uh, more corals in here so I can get good coral growth and keep my uh, pH and alkalinity and calcium levels all in check. Um, well, that's about it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate uh, any comments, concerns, anything that you guys think that uh, if I did it would help the system better or if I'm not doing, you know, just let me know. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll put another video up uh, whenever anything, whenever I get anything new. Thanks.